It all starts with a question. What the heck is library and information science? I'm Peter, and this is Stacks and Facts. When you're flicking through Twitter, skimming the news, or tucking into a good book, you're doing so because those things have information you want. Information, that mineral we crave, that lets us understand the world and feel good about the decisions we make. While fields like physics, chemistry, and literature have a role in creating that information and shaping our view of the world, library and information science, or LAS for short, is more concerned with the storage, retrieval, and usage of that information. Folks in the field of LAS look at the systems, structures, and processes that people rely on to find, store, and share information whatever shape that information might take. While we might have a passing interest in the content itself, academically that interest usually only extends to how particular information shapes the behavior of those looking for it. Because of this, LIS is highly interdisciplinary and touches everything from biology to psychology, from physics to linguistics. Dr. Marsha Bates, Professor Emerita at UCLA, puts it best. In short, she says, the documentary products of human activity themselves form a universe deserving of study. And the study of that universe, and how human beings produce it, seek it, retrieve it, and use it, is the intellectual domain of information science. Natural science's realm is the natural world, social science's realm is the social world, and the realm of humanities is creative and artistic endeavor. LAS's realm, then, is the output of those other studies, to quote, the world of recorded information produced by human agency. Now, depending on who you ask and the context that you're asking in, LAS is either its own field, the merging of two separate but related fields, or just a fancy renaming of library science to make it feel more modern and hip. I, of course, will not be taking a stand on that either way, there are plenty of other hornet's nests to shake up, but I will talk about library and information science as separate fields to begin with because I think that the distinction is an important one to make. Huma Malik, a librarian at the University of Preston in Islamabad, Pakistan, put together an excellent presentation that compares the two fields. Link in the doobly doo. She gives the definition of library science as the study of collecting, preserving, and cataloging books and other documents in libraries, and information science as the study of processes for storing and retrieving information, especially scientific or technical information. She also does a good job at highlighting the similarities and differences between the two fields. You can break it down like this. Location-based versus location-less. Document-based versus content-based. Information organization versus information behavior. Or think of it like this. They're two sides of the same coin where information science leans towards theory around information, while library science is more concerned with the practices of how to put people into contact with information. An information scientist might look at whether readers of different genres of literature have preferences in the medium. Kindle? Or paper? Whereas a librarian might break their science fiction holdings into subgenres like cyberpunk and serial fiction to help patrons find out what they want more easily. But of course, information science is more than just research, and library science is more than just practice. Information scientists will study how people use a search engine and find that very few people ever go beyond page two of the results. They'll ask hard questions like, who gets to be on those first two pages? Or how does that disenfranchise less popular but perhaps more accurate sources? How do entities manipulate these results to affect what people deem true? Librarians, meanwhile, work to bring down systemic barriers that members in their communities might face when it comes to using the library. They ask hard questions like, who doesn't feel welcome in our space? Do fines really encourage responsible use of our collections, or do they just scare away more vulnerable populations that need us the most? How can we downsize our physical collections to make more space for computers without hurting our current patrons? And both information scientists and librarians are equally concerned with things like promoting open access. This could mean pulling research from behind paywalls and into the public realm, or making sure that the quality of a school's textbook isn't dependent on how much money it gets, or bringing government data into the public eye to keep governments and other big entities accountable. Those are some of the big ideas in LIS. Interface design, community-led librarianship, and open access. But given that library science and information science seem to have somewhat different purposes, why have the two fields found themselves merged? Fundamentally, it's because they inform each other. Information science in its current form really started to take off in the early to mid 20th century. And this is around when folks started realizing that automated processing of information that computers made possible could revolutionize how information itself functioned. Librarianship, meanwhile, has been around for as long as people have had records to store. 
figuring out how to classify and organize these collections and how to make them searchable in useful ways has always been the domain of librarians and archivists. The transition from analog to digital brought new challenges to librarianship. Where do you store a thing that can only be accessed through a computer terminal? More importantly, how do you give as many people as possible access to that? And what's the digital equivalent of a wet book? In this way, LIS coming together worked out. Librarians brought a firm understanding of principles like genre, indexing, classification, and preservation to information scientists who could then apply that institutional knowledge to their own work. In turn, information scientists were able to reimagine information as a thing and lead to new developments in how it's worked with, organized, and stored. To evolve with the changing information landscapes, university faculties and schools of library science brought information science into their titles starting in the 60s. The MLS degree became the MLIS, and its scope grew. This was also a recognition that the scope of information practices extends beyond libraries. MLIS grads can become UX designers, intelligence analysts, and chief information officers. They work with textile samples, wines, and 3D printers. Basically, information takes many shapes, and a degree in library and information science lets you understand it and work with it regardless of its form. At its heart, library and information science is all about taking information in all of its forms and doing something useful with it so that it's useful to others. That can mean looking at how people play with it, or devising better ways of organizing it, or helping make it accessible to the entire world. Let me know in the comments below what role you see for LIS in today's world, or tweet at me, at stacks at facts. And if you find value in me doing this, please subscribe. Until next time, thanks for checking this out. Get it? Like, at a library? And don't forget to ask questions. All right. Bye.